All right, mate, how you doing? This is a clip from a recent live stream we did. Uh, we've got loads more of these planned for the World Cup and beyond, so make sure you drop a like on the video and you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Cheers. Opinions on Toby to Crawley. Toby Jizzle. I was actually I was actually supposed to have, you might be watching now, I was actually supposed to have a meeting with the one of the owners of Crawley Town yesterday. Uh, as you might be able to hear in my voice, I got a bit of a cold and I, I basically cancelled the meeting. So I was, I was happy to infect these boys, but I didn't want to infect someone important. Yeah, you know, Crawley Town. So I, I, I'm going to re, I'm going to meet him next week instead. But um, well, obviously there's a project going on at Crawley Town, isn't there? It's, if you don't know, Wag Me United have um, bought them. It's a crypto company. Um, they're very keen to use Crawley, obviously a League Two team, as a kind of uh, advert for cryptocurrency and, and doing init interesting initiatives. They were involved in the Sidemen game as like sponsors. They said they were scouting that game and they were going to invite one of them to play in the FA Cup, or to be part of the FA Cup squad is what they said. They had Mark Wright play for them in the FA Cup last year. Oh, didn't he mm. come on? They beat he Leeds, did, didn't he? came on. Uh, Josh Wright was playing there at the time, I believe, his brother. Um, he's no longer there. But yeah, so they had all three Brown brothers down there. They had Toby, they had Manny, and they had J Jed. Um, and uh, I think one of them might be in the squad for the FA Cup game. We don't know. I think it'll be Jed. Yeah, Jed's the one they're trying to he's push, the one isn't he? He's the younger you know, very, of the three. Very, very, very decent. Um, but what yeah. do you think, though? Like, what do you think... Like, do you, how good do you think... Do you see the Sidemen game? I saw the Sidemen game. Okay, so great commentary I've actually played well. with Toby many times. <laughs> commentary was, yeah, leading. Industry leading. Stephen was great. Um, I <laughs> Steve was issues. I've played um, with Toby. I've played with all, all three of them, actually. Actually, I'm not sure if I've played with Jed, but Manny's played for Hashtag yep. a couple of times. Um, very good players. We we're talking about League Two, mm. you know, and and I want to say one thing because they got, I think Crawley got stick more than the boys, but the boys deserve absolutely no stick whatsoever, regardless of whether they're good enough to play League Two or not. Yeah, why would you not go? I did a training session with Watford once because yeah. it was a football manager thing. Like, do you know what I mean? It, okay, there was no talk of me going into a squad, slightly different, but it's not these boys' fault. Every single one watching right now would take that chance, mm. particularly in this instance where their kind of motivation for it was they actually believed Jedi's got a chance. And he's a young lad and they wanted to be seen by the right yeah. people. So 100% they've done the right thing. But how good, let's say, first of all, how good is Toby and Manny at football? How, how high do we rate them? And we know, obviously, we've seen a lot of football, particularly Lewis and I, hashtag been in non-league for a while. Do you think they could play in non-league? Well, Manny has played our level. Yeah, I think Manny and Toby could definitely play in non-league. Jed, I've seen clips of, he looks maybe a bit better. Well, if they're saying he's better, then, yeah. then he's going to be decent as well, isn't he? I mean, they're all flying over TikTok and I think... In the training sessions, we're only seeing the clips that they put out of them playing un like unbelievable. Yeah. So it's hard to really tell. But I think it's a good move for them, for sure. It's a no-brainer for them. I think after playing with you last Thursday, I don't really want to be commenting, commenting on anyone's football ability. But um, I I sort of, I don't want to sit on the fence, but I will. I'll have the, the splinters in my backside. I can see both sides of it. Because if I'm, yeah. if I'm a Crawley fan, and like, we're trying to push for playoffs or stay in the league, whatever the, the situation is at the moment, and your sole focus is on that, and then you'd almost see that as a bit of a distraction. But then obviously yeah. from the content side of things and from, I mean, uh, Crawley are trying to attract new fans. I I, I get it. I, I, I actually don't get it. I'm going to be honest. I don't get it because you have to remember like people that are running these teams, they know what is best for the club regardless. So it's all down to for You're people. saying you don't get why they're getting stick? Yeah, I, do, I don't, I don't uh, agree. Like, I I, think I, it's you're always going to get stick in the football space anyway. Yeah, I mean, no matter it's what difficult. You do. I haven't met the guy. I'm meeting him, meeting him next week. Uh, and I find out a bit more about his objectives and whatnot. But I do think there's some people that have an element of kind of like they're coming in and they're just, I don't want to say making a joke of the club because it's not making a joke of it, but they're, they're, I understand completely why they're trying to do what they do. They're trying to become relevant. I mean, they've actually used a tagline that we've used a hashtag before for many years, which is being the internet's team. You know, we said that we want to become the mm. internet's team. It's the line they use now as well. And so I understand why they're doing what they're doing. But I do, I actually kind of agree with Will. that They are struggling against relegation right now in League Two. They get potential to lose league status, right? One of the reasons they would have bought Crawley is because it was a, a fast track into professional football. You know, a team that had not a massive fan base in comparison to some teams. You know, even like Wrexham in the league below got a much bigger fan base. Um, not, and they've got history like any club has. But, you know, it was a way they could get in, I think, relatively... I mean, they tried to buy Bradford first, didn't they? They didn't, get, they didn't buy Bradford. Yeah. So... Low barrier to entry. But I think you've got to respect the fans. I think you look at the Wrexham dock. And it actually, I actually think they're going 
too far in almost protecting the fans a little bit. And they're, they're trying to be so aware of like the community. And when I say too far, I, I say, cause I'm a bit of a cynic and I wonder whether it's actually legit from Ryan and Rob. And they're, and they're more just sort of saying what they think they have to say. The difference is they're still saying it. They're yeah. still doing what they have to do to appease the community. And they're very popular, even though Wrexham haven't actually secured promotion yet. They're very, very popular over there. And I, and I wonder without being an expert on it, whether Crawley have done enough yet as owners yeah. to buy the, time to go and do things like this do you know what i mean what say say it was hashtag united so is it jed the old the young the one yeah, with the best youngest. talent yeah say he has got the like why can you not just i get it from a but from a fan's perspective perspective why couldn't they just do that sort of under the radar and that's you, the name of their football team and it know. is uh, you knew that I meant did you mean that uh, always been um, and then yeah why can't they just do this under the radar and then if something does happen it, then it sort of becomes like the, the PR story around that and then if I'm a Crawley fan and I'm thinking we're struggling relegation and then I know it's sort of I know why they've done it but they say they're scouting the sidemen yeah, game yeah, you just feel a bit it, like it's a bit embarrassing yeah, hang, hang on let's just concentrate on the league yeah. it's, they're appealing to that audience who love the sidemen charity game mm. for good reason it's an unbelievable event by the way an absolute joy to be part of it a ridiculous amount of money raised so many people watching so Crawley though, in that sense they know what they're doing they're appealing to that internet audience yeah. but they're maybe forgetting the mainstream audience at the same time and I think that um yeah, it's like it's one thing inviting guys to go to training. But when they start using language like we're scouting, like you say, we're gonna play one in the FA Cup, it does start to, you know, like for example, Manny Manny is a semi pro footballer, you know, we've seen him play at our level, the hashtag right now, and the level below. Uh he came and played with us for a bit in preseason ones. I don't think Toby's gone down that route, but Toby's as talented a footballer, in my opinion, from playing with him. He's very, very, very good. I think they could I think as a family, they all could happily play some professional football, without doubt. And that's with I haven't seen Jed a great deal, so I don't know if he's a lot better or whatever. But um, but yeah, it's like, even if they wanted to sign Toby, like, would he even do it? Do they even want to be now with the life Toby leads? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. If, they're, if they're that, and I think Jed maybe still is, but I feel like Manny and Toby are so busy and they're career guys now, that if they were that desperate to be footballers, they'd still be playing semi-pro yeah. and be committed to that. So it does feel like a bit of a stunt, but completely embrace and celebrate what those boys doing it. I love those boys. They're very, very good lads and friends of mine uh, and very, very good footballers. But I do understand, like you say, why Crawley getting a bit of stick. And I think they've just got to be clever with the language they use. Well, I think you made a good point about like Wrexham. It's almost sort of buying that trust in the bank before you unleash something like this. But say for like Hashtag United, mm. you, you've obviously had offers from players up and, you know, up and down the levels. But you, would you be... If, if there was no chance that some of the players were ever going to really play... No, they're not good enough, we wouldn't have them. Yeah. And, and the you, manager wouldn't have them either. Yeah. So I think from from that perspective and, you, and your, your guys' insight, I think... Just, yeah, I think the language was a bit strange and how they've done it. And uh, apparently Archie just said, Toby said in an interview he would turn down a pro contract. So that I didn't know that to be true, but it was what I got from yeah. how busy those guys are and how successful they are in their own right, right? You oh, know, yeah. To be a professional footballer, Toby, even though it'd probably be a dream of his, as it is most of ours, he'd probably have to give up a lot of exciting opportunities. Andrew Lane's just got a madness, just five gifted, gifted five subs. Andrew, did you not hear what I said? We're going to YouTube <laughs> and literally like now. He loves it. 